I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. What's up, you beautiful people? I'm your host, the one and only Danger Dave, and welcome back to Alan Wake. I had completely forgotten where I had left off in this game, but now I remember it's all coming back to me. We were being chased by the 5-0, which is never good, so we gotta get our happy ass out of here. So I hope all of you beautiful people are having a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, or had. A uh, very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, depending on when you uh, watch this video. I know I'll be glad when the holiday season is over, because retail jobs get busy as shit during the holidays. Oh god, you pigs' is anus! Stop shooting at me! Okay. Must go faster. Must go faster. Sorry, Barry, to leave you behind. But I am not going to be spending the night in a cell. If I have anything to say about it. Okay, it looks like we shook them for a little bit. Ah, a manuscript page. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Aha! So the darkness dreams no more. Well, you're just gonna have to go hungry, darkness. I'm done feeding you for now. You're getting a bit chunky, right? Getting a bit chunky. Need to go on a diet. Holy fucking witch's tits! Hi. Uh-huh. Timber! Nightingale, this is Sheriff Breaker. Over. Nightingale, over. What on earth is going on? My deputies tell me he fired and wake and he didn't have a gun. You almost hit a civilian instead. Over. Sheriff, wake's running. I'm giving chase. I don't have time for this. Well, make the time. Can't just go shooting at people in my town. Over. I'm a federal agent pursuing a fugitive. You want to discuss my message, Sheriff? Make an appointment. Over. You stay right where you are, Agent Nightingale. I'm on my way. Out. The suspect was last sighted running along the gorge that leads westward from the trailer park. All units are advised that the suspect may be armed. Approach with caution. James out. Uh, I, I think his insurance will cover this, right? He got the, uh, the darkness insurance, right? Don't worry, that'll, that'll all buff out. It'll be fine. It'll be as good as new in, like, a day or two. Don't even worry about it, man. Uh, glorious checkpoints. Okay, I need to find a form of defense. Joke's on you! I am no longer over there. Man, these these cops just don't know what they're in for. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Oof. Somebody's having a bad day at the office. Man, you, you, you guys just don't know what you're up against. I feel bad for you guys. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer. 
not a monster. But maybe the writer is the monster. Did you ever think about that? That. He's like, he wears a jacket, this, this stupid jacket, for God's sake. It can't possibly be him. Yeah, you boys just don't understand. Okay. A whirly bird? I hear a whirly bird. Oh, hi. Fuck. Man, just you just you would have never expected that. You're like, oh I we got him, he's right here. What attacked you? A bunch of birds. Uh it was a murder of crows that did the murdering. Okay. Okay. Well, let's search this for anything useful. Aha! Anybody got a quarter? You guys okay over there? There's a gas station. Man, I love that, like, seeing places, like, in the world where we were. Like, we were just over there, like, a few parts ago. Because there's Stucky's gas station. Okay, can we see anything else? Oh, I see a coffee thermos. Uh huh. Anything else I should be looking at? Interesting. Ah, sweet coffee. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give uh, this is James, Mulligan, Thornton, come in, over! Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they was... Hey, what, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here, over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan, over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of old of scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. Oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing about uh, Nightingale is uh, he's a bit of a drunk. He is a bit of a drunk. Ooh, got another quarter? Aha. That was Lover Peak. We were just... see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Aha. So we were just up there. That was Lover's Peak. And now we gotta get over here. Did you guys see the teaser for Alan Wake 2? Oh my god! Yes! I I knew that Alan Wake 2 was... I gotta make a video about this, how hyped I am for this uh, game. But I knew ever since uh, they did uh, Alan Wake DLC for uh, uh, Control. 
uh, that Alan Wake uh, 2 was not far behind. I that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Oh, so maybe that wasn't Lover's Peak. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Probably lost that long ago. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a fight. Alright, so this is something Alan Wake uh, does a, or, uh, does something well, very well. Does well, very well. English, I don't speak it. Uh, but, like, we are unequipped with flashlights, so we gotta find, like, a natural source to get rid of these shadows. So let's go ahead and uh, head on over here and see what we can find. For anything, though, we gotta get some coffee. For the long road ahead. Gimme, 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 gimme. And of course, have to get this generator going. And a one, and a two, and a three. Here we go. Okay, so now that we got this light going, is there any manuscript pages around? Yes, there is. Oh no, those are just sparks. Oh my god, Grand Theft Auto updating, hopefully getting rid of all the glitches and stuff. Generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. You piece of shit! Just give it a good whack. That always fix everything. All right, you horses anus. Hair. This rusty piece of crap. Now stay on. I don't want to have to come over here and fix you twice. Goodness. All right, here we go. There we go. <laughs> of course it breaks immediately after I use it. Piece of shit. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to Alan Wake 2. I'll have to play American Nightmare and Control before it comes out. It's not coming out till 2023, so we got plenty of time to do that. I'll have to play Control again, because that game was very good. I was very pleasantly surprised by it. Oh, you fucking witch's tits. Hey, hey, don't give me that attitude. You just be chill. Aha. Yeah. All right, so our situation is a little bit better. Now that we have a flashlight. And... Be gone, foul demon of the dark. Go back to which you came. Or I'll send you straight to hell. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. All right, so now we have the good old flash granadas, and uh, this is going to be the only uh, weapon we have for a while. So you don't want to be like chucking these things left and right, only in like emergency situations, uh, because they're going to be your only line of defense here. Uh, but they are a very powerful tool against creatures of the dark, for obvious reasons. Fell demons of dark nightmares. Oh god. Whoa. Yeah. Blinded by the lights. This is the only part of the song Ow. that I know. Give me more flashbangs. I forgot how to dodge. Let's jump. That's dodge, okay. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? 
Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Man, Pat's such a good guy. He really is. We uh, make our way to him. Hopefully he can help us. But I see another manuscript page over here. Oh my god. Rook bro. Flash bang out. Kaplooey. Did I get everybody? No. Oh god. Get out of here. Get out of here with your horse shit. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Boof. That doesn't sound fun at all. Okay. Okay, back on track. I've used a little more uh, flashbangs than I wanted to there. It was worth it to get the manuscript page. All right, we need to get out of the spoopy forest. Preferably alive and not in a body bag. Or consumed by darkness, or both. Holy fuck. Oh god, more flashbangs. Oh, ow! Woo! Boom! Get your spooky ass out of here. There'll be none of that. Woo! Alright, we gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Ow! My fucking back of my head! It's gonna give me a good old splitting headache. Hear more shitheads. Whew. Okay, Grand Theft Auto, are you done updating? I hope so. You freeze, motherfucker! There you go. Shove that up your ass. You shithead. We're fine. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Oh, hello, Lorna. What do you have for us? Well, I just don't see why the cops bother with the trailer park. What do you mean? It's a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? The sheriff should be helping us normal citizens instead of wasting resources on those people. Well... Let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Lorna, you're an asshole! What an asshole! Okay, I will be taking the coffee. Thank you very much. We will have a look see around. Make sure. Uh-huh. Night Owl. Okay. Hey, Pat. Mind giving me a hand here? Oh, here's a little surprise. 
The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No way to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. All right, well, talk about cliffhangers. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? I do believe that is going to be all the time I have for uh, this episode. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this episode, you know what you gotta do. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the next episode.